Hello, I'm Brian, and welcome to another episode of Wasting 2 Director's Cut. Uh, now, we are in front of the Griffith Park, I think. Uh, we are right in front of the Gauntlet of Simpson. We're going to travel through this, uh, kill, kill a bunch of wild beasts as part of the Gauntlet. And then uh, we are going to also escort Alex Bermudez through all this. <laughs> Hope he survives the ordeal. And then uh, at the end of the road, we are going to fight a bunch of ghost militias uh, as the final test. And then we are going to earn our entrance into Griffith Park. All right, so let's get let's get started, shall we? <laughs> uh, this would be a a bit tricky. Now, I don't think that these uh, honey badgers and wild dogs will. Uh, pose a lot of threat to us. However, however, uh, because we are now followed by uh, Alex Bermudez, and uh, as NPCs goes in combat, they usually have a quite a suicidal tendency. Let's just say. So we would better just um, get over with all this quickly. Uh, we really wanted it to. Uh, we really don't want uh, uh, Alex Bermudas to get his turn because uh, that would be a problem. Yeah, he might run out and kill himself or something, and that will not do. All right, headshot all the way, I guess. I don't see why not. Try to just uh, get through the fight as quickly as possible. Uh, okay. Even the dogs have uh, have better combat initiative than uh, Alex Bermudas, so there is that. <laughs> oh oh oh. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't notice that these honey badgers actually walk this far, huh? Let's hope that this is not going to be a problem. Uh, this one, I guess. All right. Pop one shot. And then... Uh... Ooh... That may be you, I guess. Alright. The reason I kill all the further ones before I kill this one is that even with uh, Alex Bermudas, he might want to try and close distance with this one. He's unlikely to walk into the minefield that is uh, in front of us. I'm not sure if there are any landmines here, but uh, yeah, uh, on the road through this uh, gauntlet, there is a lot of landmines, so worth looking out for. Okay. Oh, delivering the final punch. <laughs> As if to say that, hey, you, what, what are you saying that I'm a useless something, kill something? A bunch of innocent animals before we get to the real animals. Yeah. Oh. Uh, with Brother Thomas in our team, I don't think we are going to have a peaceful resolution between the, uh, the Hollywood and the, the Ghost Militia. I would definitely hope that is not the case because, uh, yeah, it could be bad. All right, where are the landmines? As if to say, right? <laughs> the heck is with this ninety-three percent? Okay, a hundred percent. That's good. I'm not sure why Alex Bermudas is doing this. Alright, let's see. No. Alright, 
more landmines in front of us. Okay. Alright. That's far enough. It is unfortunate that uh, Alex is following the member that has the mind sweeping ability. But it is what it is, I suppose. Alright, again, set up. Another fight is coming. I would certainly hope that we don't aggro the 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 pack on the on this side as well. Uh, that would be bad. It would drag out the fight uh, unnecessarily, and uh, it also puts uh, Alex Bermudas into in a danger because uh, he might just wander into the uh, the minefield up ahead. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Alright. That is very nice. Now all the, all the enemies are outside of a field of vision. That is not so nice, but... Okay. Alright. Getting through them execution style. Uh... Oof. All right. We can't hold back. Uh, we have to move forward. Unfortunately. As you might have noticed that through our playthrough, I I usually just hang back, sit tight, and uh, try to let the enemy walk all the way to us, and then we just shoot them into beehives. Uh, I suppose it's not in this case. Uh, um, there are there are just too many of them, and uh, all right. Let's see. Yeah, and and with uh, Alex with us, uh, tracking is not an option. We can't just prolong the fight for indefinite. That will that will actually kill us. Or kill Alex, anyway. <laughs> it's not going to kill us at all. Uh, alright. How about this? Okay, um... Yeah, we should actually get... Get the toad first. Uh, because they have this uh, tongue attack that can uh, that can s steal our weapons, and if that happens, that would be bad. Now we have some. Ooh! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I thought. All right, let's see. We need to kill these two honey badgers, and we need to kill this wolf as well. All right. Eighty-two percent. Skip it. I was saying I I would just give it a try, but okay. <laughs> Not happening. All right. Now that uh, Corrin King actually uses the uh, the X pretty fine, I'm pretty happy with it. All right. Uh, move forward a little bit. Ambush mode, I guess. Oh, okay. All right, let's step aside. All right. I'll try to finish this uh, fight first before we uh, talk about whatever I'm trying to talk about. All right, headshot. Wow, burst headshot. 
Oh my god. Alright, lucky dodge. Lucky dodge. This honey badger seems to just just join the fight. Instead of, you know, like uh, being aggroed <laughs> from the start. Alright. Uh, you, I guess. Alright. Holy mother. Yeah, with Alex. Bermuda's wonderful 100 <laughs> HP health pool, that is not gonna. <laughs> I have doubts he will uh, survive the ordeal, but let's see. Let's see. Alright, so what I'm trying to say is I uh, I received some comments uh, uh, in previous videos. Uh, I believe it is the ones that uh, that is this run through uh, from the start uh, character creation. They've talked about um, uh, they ask uh, whether why I'm creating this uh, sniper in a way that I just max up the speed first and then have awareness, you know, sitting at like six or something. Um, the reason uh, I, I I think I will um, elaborate a little bit here. Uh, is that the reason is that you don't want to mess up with the coordination, uh, the strength, the speed, and the intelligence uh, mid game, in a way. Because if you like at level ten, you put a let's let's say you put a one point into this strength as well, uh, because they have the AP um, modification. Uh, so. If you put like one point in here, it doesn't increase the AP, it makes it very awkward, and then for coordination, it's the same. Uh, if you try to put like one point to try and level it all the way to six, and then that one point does nothing aside from a plus one percent chance to hit with ranged weapons. I, I previously thought coordination was a good uh, attribute as well uh, as far as uh, obtaining AP goes but then I think uh, it ends up very disappointing uh, I found that uh, with the quirk uh, brittle bones you, you can just uh, get to free AP uh, quote-unquote free AP uh, instead of putting all the points into coordination and then you still get uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, moving speed uh, combat speed as well um, so the the way I build uh, characters, uh, it usually revolves around uh, getting the fixed um, 11 AP from right from the start. Uh, and then uh, I plan to get the Tinkerer perk through uh, two weapon smithing. And then uh, with one perk point as well. That way I ensure that uh, the whole game, uh, the either the Assault Rifleman, or the sniper uh, will have 12 AP and that is enough for them to fire two shots with uh, most of the weapons in game that way uh, when whenever you level up you just put all the points into awareness and uh, and the uh, combat initiative will slowly uh, instead it's not really catch up but slowly uh, gets ahead of your enemy's uh, combat initiative as well. Uh, that way I think the character has a smoother uh, growth rate and uh, also you can see here uh, with max the awareness and max the speed it is the uh, the highest uh, combat initiative uh, one can get just through the attribute points. Of course you can always use the uh, what you might call it let's let's find it. Uh, the choice trinket uh, to a plus 5 in combat initiative, but then I think uh, with a 25 <laughs> combat initiative, that is uh, an overkill. You'll realize that um, my surgeon here actually uh, with the, let's see, uh, with the combat initiative of 20, uh, she gets double the turns uh, almost uh, compared to some of the other um, members here as well so usually before even the enemy gets to move a four turn 
uh, he already gets uh, she already gets two turns a surgeon here so it's a, <laughs> it's actually a very very powerful uh, I would say a little OP to be honest uh, uh, sniper in the team because I I would say this uh, this team composition I'm not very happy with in a way that I have three uh, close combatants with me and uh, as far as things goes close combatant is not very good uh, particularly in, on a higher uh, difficulty because if you have to get close you spend a lot of AP uh, moving around so it drops your uh, damage potential and then you are also more exposed to uh, to other sniper as well and uh, yeah all that so I, I don't really like the idea of a uh, melee combatants in this game uh, I've tried it, uh, our captain here uh, a brawler I would say this it is a lot of fun oh I actually missed the putting a point <laughs> yeah uh, it is a lot of fun uh, playing with uh, melee combatants always However, um, because it is very, very... Oh, I actually missed quite a lot of uh, attribute points. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, with the melee combatants, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, um, exposing them to a lot of heavy fire is a very bad, uh, bad idea in this game. And... Um, yeah, I, I mean, they they could be good, you know, like current King uh, swinging the Proton Axe and then getting a crit and then killing your enemy instantly. That seems fine. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think uh, many combatants could be very awkward to use. Uh, however, in the next playthrough, <laughs> yeah, I I'm actually thinking of the next playthrough already. In the next playthrough, I think I would actually have a team composition of like two melee combatants and then uh, one SMG user and one shotgun user and see how it gets through the game because uh, uh, that seems fun. I mean, I, I've uh, gotten through the game a couple of times already. Uh, I know that in, in this team, uh, the, the two most uh, impressive members in this team is the surgeon and my lieutenant here using the sniper rifle and the sword rifle respectively they basically just carry the whole team <laughs> through every single fight um, uh, delivering headshots after headshots uh, I mean the, the surgeon here especially uh, so much so much headshots so much headshots but all right okay, uh, let's continue uh, let's not talk <laughs> talk our days away Jesus. Oh, the landmines as well. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. 63%. What are you talking about? Alright. In that case. What do you mean, psych blocked? <laughs> uh, no, not like this. Oh, God. Alright. Why do I have to do this? Um, this is very awkward. The game is for wait. The game is forcing me to uh, shoot the landmine with uh, uh, with vouchers cry. All right, yeah, I I am willingly <laughs> wasting bullets. J Jesus, stop moving, Alex. Oh God, I don't want him blowing himself up. Okay, all right. Okay, I mean, yeah, the we we are just going to get through. Uh. Uh, this gauntlet, uh, escort Mr. Bermuda's here through the whole thing. 
as quickly as possible. Alright. Huh. Okay, yeah, this... Uh, this little thing here. Uh, fingers crossed, let's not uh, F this up. Uh, this is where you get the um, ultimate uh, submachine uh, submachine gun uh, in the game. So you can see here Galileo's telescope. Um, back in the... Alright, let's take it first. Alright, let's see. Yeah, back in the Salt Lake Park, if I remember correctly. Uh, there is a farmer that lives there and uh, we can trade uh, this uh, little telescope here with a very powerful uh, SMG, the Eviscerator. Uh, the most powerful SMG that use uh, the initial bullets uh, from the start of the game. So that is actually funny. Alright. Okay. Alright, again, let's set up properly. Uh, so you can see here, uh, we have arrived at the end of the gauntlet. Um, this is very strange. Is this a proper cover? I don't think it is. Alright. <laughs> no matter, no matter, no matter. Uh, my sniper should be able to take care of things uh, very very efficiently uh, okay yeah let's front door to the madhouse yeah I mean yeah uh, that's where we are heading <laughs> uh, Feels a little bit spread out, to be honest. Uh, the night captain as well. Huh? Well, I think uh, let's just instead of doing this, we can set up from across here, I guess. Uh, that way, we actually use the cover around here to shoot them. <laughs> Uh, right. Yeah, someone is going to go up ahead and talk to that. Uh, what what is it called? Night Captain. Yeah. We're going to beat him up, and then things are going to be fine. to go here I guess uh, specifically you congratulations best Byron you have survived let's talk to him now all that remains is the final challenge this is the gate of the bastion representing red Samson's victory in death when uh, his noble sacrifice allowed his congregation to reach the observatory to rebuild it as the passion of faith you see before you something 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 okay to us you must take from us the james king bibles we carry on our person to win them you must defeat us in combat but remember if you continue to attack after we yield the gate of the station will not open and you will not be able to proceed with the gauntlet are you ready? Yes. Want to try it on with me, Garza? Holy mother. Jesus. Living wrong. It's Thomas. You died of living, son. Uh, died of living wrong. That's for certain. Well, we can fix that. Woo. <laughs> Um, a single sniper shot is all that it takes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was fun. All right, let's talk to him. 
by Samson's beard aspirants. That was a stirring fight. Uh, okay. So I want to get this right. Now, if you are in this fight, chances are you want to kill all the other members first before you do it like me, <laughs> singly, single, single head shooting <laughs> uh, this uh, little knight captain here. But uh, you know, you can then uh, you don't get their weapons because they are not dead bodies. But then. I think you get uh, some experience here as well, so it is up to you. If you wanted to just focus fire on uh, the night captain, if you find this uh, fight is uh, uh, more difficult than you expected, of course you can focus on uh, focus your fire on the night captain. Uh, especially when we are having Mr. Bermudas here following us as well. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so yes, uh, this knight captain is saying, "Hey, you can go in or something." Except, all right, use. Yeah, the last time I went through this game, I wasn't even sure how I get in. I think I thought it was like a, some kind of bug where we couldn't get in. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that we actually have to press the thing. Alright. I would hope that we don't go in. The eagle's nest. Yeah, the eagle's nest. Watch yourself, scum! These people must have sinned horribly. Or perhaps their captors have. Yeah, you can see here, uh, Ennis Bermudas and Louis Bermudas, they are reuniting with each other. Uh, nah, bro, I hooked up with these rangers, they're tough! Even so, it's too risky, and besides, how the hell could I be happy being free when all these other poor bastards are still up here? Taking shit from the knights. Wait for me at Levin's rest. Once the rangers have freed us, I will meet you there. Alright, bro. Rangers, make sure my brother gets back here. Okay. I mean, yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Alright. Okay, yeah. So we are now inside the Ghost Militia. Uh, the Citadel of the Ghost Militia. Uh, I'm glad that uh, Brother Thomas is not just going crazy and just shooting everyone on sight. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, inspiring. No! <laughs> Corrin King, no! This is not the way. Alright. Uh, I think it's like this. Okay, so this little eye here will help uh, help us get through the um uh what well, uh, let's see yeah uh will help us get through some of the missions inside inside this uh, citadel. All right, before we enter, I think we need to talk to another NPC around as well. Uh, yeah, Maggie. Psst, Rangers! A young woman in church robes stands in front of a shack with a sign on it that reads Samson's Snack Shop. Uh, she keeps her eye firmly on the ground. You're the Desert Rangers, aren't you? The priests have been listening to your broadcast a lot. They think you're like them, but you're not, are you? You're real good guys, or are you? Are you here to convert? Are you gonna join the militia? Uh, we are not going to join the militia. I knew it! The rangers ain't stupid enough to fall for some preacher's lies. Not like me. You're here for something else, I can tell. I mean, no, no, I won't tell. Your secret's safe with me, rangers. I promise. And any info you need, let me know. You see a lot around here, serving burgers. Uh, just, uh, uh, whatever you're doing. Could you help me escape when we leave? Uh, I wanna go back home so bad. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, this is part of the mission where we are going to free the people that has been held by the Ghost Militia here. Alright. Uh... Whew, now where were we? What do you want to know? Do you have any info on the Bastion? Uh, what do you want to know? Yeah, so these are a bunch of uh, backgrounds here. Uh, so the church militant, uh, uh, the church militant, uh, church uh, vigilant, and church ecstatic. These are the three churches that uh, 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 they are they are all the ghost militias. Um, they are basically the different branches of them. And then, uh, yeah, so they, they're basically just, you know, a bunch of uh, background information. Uh, I'm not going to go through a lot of them. Uh, however, uh, know that there are some uh, information inside that you would know about how you can resolve. Uh, they, they give you clues on how you can resolve the situation. I've been through it a couple of times, so I, I know uh, what, what they're about. Uh, uh, tell me, find a way to get all the penitents out and I'll come. But until then, uh, what do you say? Yes. All right. Yeah. So uh, this Maggie here, uh, she misses her home, and then uh, <laughs> it so happens that uh, in a certain toaster that we found across the the wasteland of California, we get a bus schedule <laughs> that ran uh, back in uh, Maggie's home. All right. So lost the bus schedule. What do we get? Cost militia sensor. Not even sure what that is. Let's see. Ah, minus one hard ass, minus uh, one brute force for two plus two smart ass. Usually at this point, you are at 10 in smart ass anyway, so <laughs> pointless, but thank you, I guess. <laughs> uh, Alright. I think. Uh, We've done all that is uh, need to be said and done Never here, so I'd let's head inside. But I wanted to make sure. Ah, we have booze. Okay, so before we enter with the um the church, you really wanted to make sure that you have some alcohol on you because uh, there will be an NPC inside that uh, uh meet meets you right away. Um. And if you are unable to produce a uh, alcoholic string for him, uh, I think they will all go uh, hostile on you, and then they will just kill you. Uh, not that they can kill you; you <laughs> you end up killing them quite easily. But then, uh, yeah, for the moment, I really wanted Beautiful. to be at peace with these people. So. Before you is a tall, broad-shouldered white guy with jet black hair and a strong jaw and more trophy eyeballs than anyone else. His cruel smile, however, belies his heroic looks. A paladin has asked you to stop. A direct order. Will you obey? Sure. You hear like an obedient dog. An excellent beginning. Now then, the Salvation Church forbids alcohol and drugs. If you carry any on your person, you must hand them over immediately so that we can dispose of them properly. Open your bags immediately and provide at least one illicit item to prove your good faith. <laughs> well done, Aspirant. I would ask you to lick my boots now, but that would be redundant. You may go. Down the hatch! Yeah, I mean, uh, he's going to ha have a booze or something. <laughs> Alright. A-ho. Alright. Yeah, this is the... Uh, I, 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 I will say this. Uh, this is the final uh, weapon shop you can get. Uh, let's take a look. So you can see here, anti-material rifle, um, a G41. Uh, all these 
all the weapons you can get here. Uh, even the dragon's claws as well. I bemoan so much about this. <laughs> Alright, I'll get it first. Uh, yeah, I I keep saying that I didn't get a uh, weapons upgrade uh, for my uh, brawler here. And now she has it. Alright, let's see. Yeah, these are all the highest tier of weapons here. Uh, most likely you would have gotten it uh, one way or another. You would likely uh, have gotten it through a couple of uh, uh, boxes throughout the wasteland where there is a strong uh, uh, door that needs to be opened by a uh, mason cannon. Or uh, you would either have obtained some of the higher tier weapons. Uh, from the lockers inside mm, uh, Angel's Oracle as well. Once you finish uh, the storyline in that place, uh, you gain access to their armory and inside the armory there is like one piece of uh, one of these possible weapons uh, here for you as well. Uh, now, if you are still missing some of these weapons, <laughs> then you can get them from here. Uh, the AM rifle, obviously. Uh, ooh, let's see. Maybe I should get another AM rifle as well. I'm not sure. Uh, uh yeah. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> and then ammo as well. All right, sell junk. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Very overweighted. Alright. I'll take these off you. I'll take these off you. Uh, basically just trying to distribute everything away from him. Uh, uh, what is this for? Perception. <laughs> it's basically a rubbish, but... Oh, okay. Uh, do we have the hoarder already? Yeah, we have. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Um, the two strength really killed it. <laughs> uh, the, the, the weapons are so heavy. Uh, I would debate on putting one strength uh, when we... When we uh, reach level 50, just to get more carrying weight. Jesus. If I modify this AM rifle, we're not gonna carry it, right? Wow, this, this is 13 pounds. <sighs> this is 9 pounds. Alright, I guess. I know this sounds stupid, but less armor, more pew pew, I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's modify this uh, AM rifle as well. Uh, the reason I get another uh, AM rifle for my sniper here is that she fires uh, very rapidly with the AM rifle because she is able to deliver two shots per turn. Uh, chances are, uh, in a prolonged fight, um, it will run. Uh, she will run out of bullets very quickly. Uh, so instead of reloading the weapon and uh, using the AP, uh, I I would think it is beneficial to have a uh, backup uh, sniper rifle uh, to help with the situation. Uh, all right, let's do this. Uh, then let's do this as well. And then... Alright, we no longer have access to all those... Uh, okay, I think it's quick mech then. It's not... Uh, ooh, okay, alright. Secondary weapon... And then reload. Hmm. 
I think it, it is a little bit overkill, but then <laughs> better safe than sorry. I don't try to open this box. Uh, you are going to uh, get hostile on them, and uh, things would go really badly that way. Okay, so we are going. Wait, this this is a torture chamber. What does this have to do with God? <laughs> yeah, current game. What does this have to do with God? Um. Okay. Now I I would lay this uh lay this out very quickly. Um, if you remember, uh, we are trying to find the secret lover of uh Veronica. Uh, this you you can see here. Veronica has fallen in love with one of her clients, a master man she called the Broken Man. She has asked to find out his identity and let him know that she loves him. So. This is McDade, and uh, he is the broken man. So let's talk to him. <laughs> As McDade holds gesture with your his hands, you notice uh, what looks like the long healed scars of old rope burns half hidden under his cuffs. Either he was a prisoner himself at one point, or he's into some pretty kinky stuff. Hmm. <laughs> So, you are all eager, would be torturous, are you or are you? Are those ranger uniforms you wear? A troop of desert rangers have come to follow the path of James King. I admit I am surprised, but if you insist. Uh, let's not say that we are going to join the church. I think uh, that is the point where uh, this, uh, where Brother Thomas is going to turn on us. Uh, Alright, let's... Let's check on some of the information here first. Uh, yeah, there are basically more informations about uh, the church, you know, uh, between the three churches uh, that uh, becomes the Ghost Militia. Alright, what do you know about the Broken Man? <laughs> Session Mate was how how do you know that name? Have you threatened her? Hurt her? If you've touched a single hair on her head, I will Oh god. I've betrayed myself, haven't I? Well, job well done, Rangers! <laughs> I don't know who you work for. Mayweather, Jones, it doesn't matter. You can tell them I have indeed sinned against the church, and I will accept whatever punishment they meet out. It cannot be worse than that which I have been contemplating for myself. You should return to Veronica? It has ruined me. I can no longer do my job. How can I root out sinners when I no longer know that's uh, what sin is? I used to believe that all within the militia were, by definition, without sin, and all outside it were tainted. But Veronica has shown me that virtue is not exclusive to the faithful. Uh, while my fellows in the militia have proved that sin is not exclusive to the heavens. I don't know what to do. I have contemplated leaving the church and going to her, but I am afraid she would reject me, knowing what I truly am. Listen, would you tell her? I know a brave man would do this himself, but I could not bear to stand before her if she hated me. If she will have me as I am, tell me, and I will go see her. Yes! Fanger Rangers, I know it is more than I should ask, and I am grateful. I await your return with fear and hope. Um. Hmm. Okay. Godspeed, Rangers. He Rangers. reminds me of me. We have both lost our faith. But then, what else is there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. Yeah, now that we have talked to uh, MacDade here, um, yeah, let let's talk to Felty Mayweather no. here. Is that you? I was only. Oh, hello. You must be the new aspirants. All right, let's talk to this woman here. Before you is a stunningly beautiful woman in a white woman's business suit with jacket and skirt. 
Uh, those who tried to protect cheer, uh, project cheer and love for the church has a haunted look and a black eye. <laughs> Welcome to the chapel, aspirants, and my congratulations on making it through the gauntlet of Samson. I am Sister Preacher Fealty Mayweather, wife of Evangelist Malediction Mayweather. I'm sorry my husband could not personally tell you of the church is static, but he is unfortunately too busy with his holy duties. May I help you? Uh, so there are a bunch of, you know, um, information here. The church vigilant is the eyes and ears of the church. It gathers information through observation, study, and the confessions of sinners, then passes it on to the church ecstatic for review. An aspirant who wishes to enter the church vigilant must be studious, strong of will, and a good judge of character. Uh, church militant? The church militant is the arms and legs of the church. It protects us from the heathen hordes and helps spread the word of God by accompanying our preachers on their crusades. An aspirant who wishes to enter the church militant must be strong and courageous and ready to give his life for the cause. Uh, church aesthetic? The church aesthetic is head and heart of the Salvation Church. We are the ones who interpret the teachings of James King and Red Samson and turn them into law. We are also the ones who bring those teachings to the lost and wicked of the wasteland, preaching the good word and welcoming into the church those who wish to follow the path to salvation. An aspirant who wishes to enter the church ecstatic should be intelligent, charismatic, and ready to spend several years studying scripture and canon law. I mean, there is a lot of sweet words for a bunch of BS. I to would be of course welcome you to the ecstatics, but if you haven't visited the other branches of the church, please do so. They have much to offer an eager aspirant. Uh, who is Sims? Who, who told you that name? He was my, my late husband. Please, forgive me, I don't wish to speak of it. Uh, alright. Yeah, so, uh, the the backstory here is that uh, Felty Mayweather was actually uh, Sims' uh, wife before, but then Sims was killed or something. And, uh, yeah, because of the... Um, uh, of his now husband, and then uh, because, of course, uh, uh, his current husband uh, coveted uh, her beauty and just killed Sims to have a filthy Mayweather for himself. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay. Heidi Hollander? A whore and a defiler of innocence. A seducing witch who lures good, upstanding men to adultery and debauchery. I pray that God strikes her with the most virulent of diseases and makes the rest of her life a misery. Uh, you seem to know about uh, a lot about her. Do you know her? Certainly not. I've heard stories. That's all. It has nothing to do with me. Oh, I do believe that. Uh, the paladins? The paladins are my husband's bodyguards and his most uh, intimate confidants. They are the bravest, more loyal men in the church, if sometimes prone to arrogance. Uh, it sounds like the paladin's closeness with your husband disturbs you. N no I have no problem with the paladins. It's just... It, it just seems sometimes that they see more of my husband than I do. But that is the nature of their job, isn't it? Uh, how did you get that black eye? It's nothing. I, I fell against a candlestick. Uh, there's an imprint of a ring on your eyelid. I appreciate your concern, but it was an accident, nothing more. May God light your journey, Rangers. She has true faith. I can see it. <laughs> Her husband must be a truly inspiring preacher. No! Her husband is an a-hole! Okay. Uh, before we end this video, I really wanted to point you into uh, maybe one of the most important um, um, a loot box in the whole game. Uh, it is a very special uh, loot box here. Uh, you have to use uh, a perception of level 10 to spot it. It is right here. And uh, let's open it. Uh, if we can get to it. Alright, you can see here 
Uh, it's a book called Killing for Morons. And what it does is that, um, <laughs> good for morons. Over the mysterious secrets of combat shooting revealed, you could be unstoppable. And to be honest, you can be unstoppable with this one as well. Uh, so here it says plus 10 in combat shooting skills. What this actually does is that it gives you a skill that, uh, uh, raises your uh, critical hit uh, chance up to a hundred percent so every shot you are going to deliver is gonna be a crit now uh it sounds very powerful isn't it uh however if you couple this little book here with a uh heavy machine gun that you are going to acquire at the late uh, at the very late of the game called the free uh you are uh, you are going to be literally unstoppable because uh you know uh, most of the Weapons in this game, you can see here, if they crit, uh, it does like 1.7x the damage or maybe you look at uh, some of the assault rifle 1.6 uh, times the damage. So if it is a critical hit, uh, it does uh, like 60 or 70% more damage and that is that. Sounds nice, isn't it? However, if you use the free uh, you'll notice that the damage multiplier for the critical hit uh, will be 15. So you are doing uh, 15 times the damage when you score a critical hit. Uh, is it 15? I'm not sure, some ridiculous number anyway. And uh, with that <laughs> uh, heavy machine gun, a single shot is going to kill anything that is caught in the way so yeah it's pretty powerful of course you are uh, this is considered a little bit of a uh, legal cheat in the game if you don't want to do that uh, it's also okay uh, you can just use it on uh, whatever uh, weapons you are going to uh, wh whatever uh, ranges you are going to put it on um the th there are some people who have done some tests and uh, find out that if you put it on the uh, the ones with uh, the ranger that uses a blunt weapons, uh, it is the highest uh, increase in DPS uh, simply because of the uh, very low uh, critical chance for the blunt weapons and uh, the very high uh, multiplier in the uh, one one hit a uh, critical score you can see here 2.6x the damage when it critically hits so a single swing with a, a critical hit uh, of a plasma right uh, plasma hammer is gonna roast some people uh doesn't make sense if you put it on a energy weapon user because that weapon never crits um also you don't want to put it on a brawler because brawler uh, with the skill at level 10, you can see here 100% basic uh, base critical chance already. So there is no 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 sense in putting uh, the uh, combat shooting skills uh, on a brawler as well. However, you're free to use it on whatever ranges you are going to be using for combat uh, purposes. And uh, there are people who done who have done multiple playthroughs, have saved up their ranges, and then just have all four of their custom created ranges to uh, to acquire all these uh, combat shooting skills as well. <laughs> that is very ridiculous, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, I I mean you can demolish the game however you like, but <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah. That is that. All right, so I'll be ending the video here. Uh, there is a lot uh, we have gone through. I'm very happy that Alex Bermuda survived the whole journey and then get into the church and meet his brother as well. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to uh, return to the Hollywood, I think. Uh, we, are, we are going to talk with some of the NPCs there, try to resolve some of the missions as well. We are going to get the uh to cash in the uh the galileo's uh telescope as well to get the uh most powerful smg as well uh, we are going to also try to find a way 
uh, to see how we are going to uh, get through this uh, uh, to, to try to resolve the uh, the storyline between uh, Griffith Park and the Hollywood in a peaceful way as well. See if I can do it uh, even with a brother Thomas is in our team. Because uh, once you said you, you are trying to join a certain uh, church, I think that is the point where he turns on you and tries to attack you. And then you have to kill him. Um, and I would like to avoid that because he is the one that uses SMG in our team and I just... I just have the means to obtain the most powerful SMG in <laughs> So I'm not opposed to uh, helping him murder the whole church <laughs> if it comes to that. But uh, if it can be helped uh, that we don't need to do that, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, however, I, I think we will be returning to uh, Veronica first. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Are we? Yeah, because uh, we talked to Felty uh, Mayweather, but we didn't uh, trigger a scene where uh, you know the uh uh his his husband walk in. I think if you said you want to join, then that's the part where they are they are going to walk in. But I could not be sure. Let's talk to her Welcome again. Back. Have you decided to join the church as static after all? No. Oh, well, I may God light your journey, Rangers. Hey, you fealty. <laughs> Only if he knows I'm here. Do what you have to, sister. Okay. Uh, I'm not even sure what is going to happen, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I would hope that we don't have to murder all this, um, especially this Felty Mayweather. Uh, she's a poor figure, to be honest. Um, her husband being killed because of her beauty, and uh, yeah, and, and now he uh, she is uh, serving a man that has no moral <laughs> standards whatsoever. However, uh, all this are going to happen in the next episode. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this. Um, it has been a lot of uh, fun. And uh, I really, really couldn't wait to uh, complete this run and uh, maybe start a new one as well. <laughs> but for now, uh, thank you for watching. I'm Brian, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.